beautiful day like today sky bright blue just lovely you know putting the top down just enjoying the drive um, that's what it's all about hi neighbor rich here welcome to the channel it is just an absolutely gorgeous day here in the 717 area and I am looking forward to uh, getting the uh, Z06 out and just doing a little cruising, see who's around and just have a little fun. So this is a kind of a laid back day and uh, I like it that way. Uh, now that I'm retired, you know, um, my activities include napping, snoozing, doing nothing and eating. And um, other than that, uh, driving my Z06 for fun and pleasure is uh, right at the top of the list. <laughs> so let's get going. And we will need that key. Open the middle garage door. And there we go. The top is down, it's a beautiful day, and it's time to get this baby started. Anyhow, we're up at the Cars and Coffee, uh, riding around. Uh, I just uh, got my coffee, and yes, they do have coffee at Cars and Coffee. And uh, I'm talking to Matt. Hey, Matt, how's hey, it going, how man? You doing? Good. We were just talking about the Z06 and th th this style of Corvette, the C7. And you, what were you saying? I, no, I, I liked what I, you were I, saying. My comment was, uh, uh, I like the idea of the new Corvette, but I, I still think this one, the proportions are correct. It still looks. Uh, better than the uh, than the current uh, model, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, Matt, you're you're not the only guy to say that, and not the only guy to think that. That's for <laughs> sure. So, but this is a beautiful car. There's no question about it. And um, you know, the the thing is nice about it is that it's still the, the this model. You know, had the front engine. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it, I, I could get the manual, and this is a manual. It's a it's a seven speed manual oh wow and so yeah and so and then you were saying that you, you uh you, the wheels you like the wheels yeah, huh? the wheels set it off there you uh, go they're, they're really really nice <laughs> yeah you're a man after my own heart man <laughs> thank you <laughs> it's always fun to hang out at these cars and coffees you just never know who you're going to meet what you're going to see it's always a lot of fun and uh there's all kinds of crazy things um I guess this came all the way in from California. I'm not quite sure, <laughs> but it's really nice. And then we have, of course, this, this gorgeous um, Bel Air. I think I've seen this before and shown this before, but I, I love this car. It's beautiful. Yep. Of course, there's all kinds of cars. Uh, here's a 70 Cuda. Yeah, I love these cars. 340, huh? Very, very cool. Very cool. Like you should buy one in 
Classic BMW. Uh, here's a real rat rod. <laughs> and I, <laughs> I gotta admit, this is really done cool. I love it. Look at the spike wheels. And that is awesome. This is just such a fun little car. The skull and crossbones, the chain. Uh, the shifter comes up out of the car. <laughs> that is just wild. Absolutely wild. <laughs> Love it, love it, love it, love it. Rat think. Got her working. Bel Air station wagon. Beautiful car. Love it too. Yep. Uh, 1957 Pennsylvania license plate. Interesting. Beautiful. Really, really well done. That's just such a classic. I know. <laughs> All right. Hey, we're here with Richard, and Richard just pulled up with this beautiful, beautiful Corvette. Um, I'm thinking it's a 62. 60, yeah, I was going to say, I thought maybe 61, but a 62. And it's just beautiful. How'd you get it? How long have you been in the Corvettes? I like your hat, too. Well, I had my first one in 1959. Nice. <laughs> it was a 58. <laughs> a 58 and 59. Yeah, Very I nice. I had that for like 10 years. Oh, my goodness, Richard. <laughs> then when the stock market and the finances started to tank, and I said, the yeah. hell with it, I'm losing money. My money's sitting in the bank, so I said, the hell with it, I'm going out and buy me an older Corvette. And there you go. it up and have fun. That's beautiful. Well, this, this is just absolutely gorgeous. Now, what have you had done to it? You obviously had... it? Yeah. Had a new engine. motor in it. Okay, this is a new motor? Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, everything's straight from General Motors. Yeah. Beautiful, Richard. Beautiful. Very, very nice. Love the look of these cars. These are just such a, such a beautiful car. And this is the last year of the C1s. Yes, it is. So, uh... Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And if you look at the license plate, it explains what it is. Oh yeah, there you go. I should have figured that one out real easily. <laughs> oh, you know, Richard. So, have you had a lot of other Corvettes, or have you just nope. hold, held on to this one pretty much? I had my '58, and I had this one. And this one. Wow, that's awesome, though. It took me. It took me. It took me 50 years to go from a '58 to a '62. Yeah. <laughs> This is the you know the 62 and that is the last year of the c of the c1s yeah. um and so but you didn't like the c2s hey when you had a 58 for five years and they came out with that ugly stingray <laughs> <laughs> there's well, a lot of people it was a, richard of a, it was too much of a departure from this style too much of a departure oh my gosh well you know th there's going to be a lot of people who disagree with you and think the c2 was probably the nicest styling corvette ever that, but that but is just so thing. funny when yeah you lived through it and you know and you like the c1 and that's what you've got this is just beautiful yep. That's awesome. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And um, it was good talking to you. Well, nice talking to you, Richard. Yeah, thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs> Continuing on in this little journey, here we have Rick. Hey, Rick. How's it going? Cheers. Hey. Good seeing you. Good seeing you, too. I was just looking at your beautiful Mercedes uh, AMG here. I just love it. It's such a beautiful car. How long, how long have you had this now? It, since 2016. Since 2016. Wow. Yes. That's just beautiful. One owner. <laughs> kind of like you. And hopefully going to keep it that way. There you go. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and here we have Am's uh, 69 Stingray. I just love this car. This car is just beautiful. I know the last time uh, I uh, talked to him, uh, there goes a Porsche. Hey, how you doing? Oh, here comes a little line of guys that are uh, leaving already. Anyhow, like I was saying, this is uh, Am's 69 Stingray. And honestly, I love this car. This car is gorgeous. 
I don't know if you can see the metallic sheen. That blue is just so pretty. And you know, the, the thing that he did right in this car is the seats, you know, again, match the kind of error that it was for Corvettes and for the US um, back in, in 1969. Uh, this is just a gorgeous, gorgeous car. And like I said, the seats and everything and the way he did the inside of this, it's just, it's just beautiful. Uh, perfect example of, a, of an older Corvette. I love it. I like it. Sounds good. Nice Bronco. Anyhow, it's just a, such a beautiful day. Everybody's having a lot of fun. Um, getting to talk to a lot of really cool people and um, looking at some gorgeous vintage cars. We're having a lot of fun here and really enjoying the day. It's just such a gorgeous day and um, getting to talk to a lot of really fun people, seeing a lot of really cool vintage cars and uh, just really love this opportunity to just get out and take a little drive. Uh, like I always do, I wanna end you with something you know, positive and that is, uh, you know, actually in 1988, uh, a guy named uh, Bobby McFerrin put out a song called don't worry be happy and he said that you know everybody's life has troubles if you worry about it then your troubles will double <laughs> and i think that might be some good advice so don't worry be happy have a great day and i'll talk to you in the next one if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and i hope you subscribe to the channel take care have a good one When you have a beautiful day like today, sky bright blue, just lovely. You know, putting the top down, just enjoying the drive, um, that's what it's all about.